Hey there everybody, Chelsea here with Let's Talk. Today, let's break down all the different forms of other. We're gonna talk about five of them. So let's start with another. Another just means one more. Like an other. Remember, an is singular. So another is just one more. It can be used as an adjective or a pronoun. Let me show you what I mean. I could say, This cookie is delicious. May I have another cookie? Here, another is describing the word cookie. So another here is an adjective. But it can also be a pronoun where it replaces a noun. This cookie is delicious. May I have another? Without putting a noun after it. Here, it's a pronoun, it's replaced the noun. Another is always singular and it's non-specific. When I ask, may I have another cookie? I'm not asking about that specific cookie, any cookie, just one more of it. I don't care which kind. So it's non-specific. All right, next up is other. Another meant one more. Other is just more. So other can be used as an adjective only. So I could say um, some people like thin cookies. Other people like thick cookies. So other here is describing the word people. It can only be an adjective. We can't replace a noun with other. It has to be plural. Because if it's singular, it would be an other. So this has to be plural. And again, it's non-specific. When I'm talking about other people, I'm not specifying those people, that group. It's just some amount of people who aren't these people, like thick cookies. Now, when we use the other, it gets a little complicated. The other means the rest. So, um, let me give you an example. You have four books. Um, three of them are sci-fi. One of them is horror. So, I can use this as an adjective to make a sentence that says, um, these are sci-fi books. The other book is horror. So here, the other, is being used as an adjective to describe our noun of book. But it could also be plural books. Um, if we had 10 books, uh, seven are romance, 
-hmm. and three are comedies. Then I could say, okay, these ones over here, these are romance. The other books are comedy. So here, it's still an adjective, but this is for a plural noun. So it can be singular or plural, but it is specific. When I say the other book is horror, there's only one book left. This is the rest of the books. Same here. I only have 10 books total. So if I've already talked about seven, when I talk about these three, that's all the rest. I'm being specific about which books I'm referring to. Now, the other can also be used as a pronoun. Um, for example, um, I have four books. Three are horror, one is sci-fi. Again, something like these are horror. The other is sci-fi. So when we use the other as a pronoun, it is only singular. This can't be a plural form. The other, talking about one other. This is a specific book I'm referring to. It is singular and specific when we're using it as a pronoun. All right, others. Others just means more. Um, this is used as a pronoun that's plural and non-specific. Some students write with pencils. Others write with pens. Others type on their laptop. So others here is a pronoun. There's no noun after it, but this is non-specific. It's not all the rest, it's just some more, some others. Others write with pens. I don't know how many, I don't know who. It's non-specific and plural when it's a pronoun. Last one, the others. The others means all the rest. So I can use it as a pronoun only. Uh, say we have 10 students. Um, seven of them write with pencils. Three use their laptop. So 10 total, all right? If I start by talking about the seven, These people use pencils. The others use laptops. So here it is a pronoun. It doesn't come before a noun, it replaced a noun. It is plural. I'm talking about multiple people here, three people. And it's specific. I know exactly which people I'm talking about. All right, I know that's a bit confusing, so I'm gonna put it out in a chart that will hopefully be useful. 
All right, so. Making a two-way chart here. I've got singular and plural on the top. Adjective and a pronoun down the sides. I'm going to write non-specific words in black and specific ones in purple. So singular and adjective can be another or the other. Another is non-specific, the other is specific. Singular pronouns. Another can be a singular pronoun or the other can be a singular pronoun. Non-specific, specific. Plural adjectives. Other is non-specific. The other is specific. And finally, plural pronouns. Others is specific and the others is non-specific. All right, I'm gonna go do another activity. Chelsea here reminding you, it's not nerdy being wordy. Let's talk again soon.